Well, this is pretty cool. She is a Marine, a mother of seven, and the wife of NFL star Kurt Warner. And now you can add a welder, professional welder, to that list. Tara caught up with Brenda Warner, who's now turning her passion into a business. Say hello to Brenda Warner, the welder. <laughs> How does this happen? You know what? I love metal, I love art, and um, I was getting ready to turn 50. And I thought, I want to be who I want to be now and not care what other people think. Everywhere that I travel, I, I would always pick up metal art. Like, I love the look of it. And then when I started thinking about all the scraps that are around, that are rusted, all you have to do is, is find them, bring them together, and basically weld them into a piece of art. And you can shine them and make them a whole new thing. See how it's still orange? Look at all those colors. Isn't that beautiful? After shadowing a friend who welded, Brenda bought some tools and set up shop. Her kids' initial reaction? I wouldn't say encouraging. I would say they usually say, there goes mom again. But I don't mind that. I love that my kids see me try new things, fail, succeed. I love that. And so I want them to be more like that, where you just think, why not try it? That for so long, she put everything on hold so I could chase my dreams and never had a chance to really dive into anything that she could call her own and anything that she could gain that self-worth from. And that's the thing that's coolest to me is, you know, a lot of people would think, oh, I'm 50, I never did it. I guess I never get to do it. And she said, well, I'm 50, I've never done it. Let's do it, let's try something new. And so now there's just a great sense of self-worth when she creates a piece and brings it into the house. A house now filled with her pieces, even a Hall of Fame trophy she made for Kurt, honoring his Canton induction. I made this thing that everybody says is a martini glass. She's created some huge pieces in our house, and those are my favorites. You know, I mean, they literally look like you just pulled them out of an art gallery, and you said, oh my gosh, how much did this cost? And she created it within the first year of even picking up a, a torch. A torch he bought her. Let's just say holiday shopping for his wife just got a whole lot easier. Well, I just didn't touch it for eight months because it scared me. And then now I love it. Her friends love the fact that she's finally sharing her metal art and metal jewelry with others. Metal Art by B is now in business with all the proceeds going to Treasure House, a supportive living community for young adults with intellectual and developmental disabilities. My son now lives there and other young adults are now getting this full life and getting a new purpose on life. So this um, whole artist thing is still weird to me, but I know that I'm doing it for a reason now because all the proceeds go to Treasure House, so it all fits together. Everything makes more sense to me now. I remember the first time I brought in a nailed cross and you know, my faith is important to me and to our family. And so when I brought in this cross that I welded with nails, and my family looked at it, I remember that moment thinking they're touched by it. It means something to them. So those are the moments that I don't forget, but now I'm ready to share it with others and let them experience what that feels like when you see a piece of art and you connect with it. That is really cool. If that you'd like is. some more information on Brenda's metal art uh, or treasure house, you can go to metalarttobuyb.com. Looking it's good. cool that she's giving it back too. Absolutely. Really nice. Yeah. Yeah, and, and it's true. I think we forget about these high profile spouses. I mean, we think mm -hmm. about, oh, they have such a glamorous life and yeah. all of this, but you really do give up a lot yeah. in right. support of yeah. that high profile, all consuming right. career. Right. So it is time to, yeah. to turn it around a little bit. That is a great Arizona family, mm -hmm. though. Mm -hmm. Sure is. <laughs>